Yo, what's going on guys? D but it's back with a new video. Yes, I'm back. I just got to my PC like two weeks ago and since then I've been making my uh, chain montage but I even forget that I told you guys that after I will finish my heroes montage I will make a tutorial about uh, how to make uh, Fortnite animations but yeah I just summoned back today and I stopped what I was doing and decided to record this tutorial for you guys this tutorial is like a part two of the animation tutorial that I did before if you haven't watched that yet make sure to watch it before watching this one thing that one we used a website called Mixamo to animate our characters but in this tutorial we're going to animate them by getting the animation from the game files so literally every animation you see in fortnite you can have it right here in blender so yeah with all that being said let's get straight into the tutorial the first thing that we need to do is to have our skin inside of blender there's two ways to do that the first way is to get the skin from the game files and second way which everyone does is to get it from a blender pack but the animation that we are going to do in this tutorial it won't work if you get your skin from a blender pack you have to get it from the game files i will have some tutorials in the description below that will help you guys export skins from the game files and uh, import them back to blender but if you guys really want me to make a tutorial about it just let me know in the comments below and i will make a tutorial about how to import skins from the game files with texture and everything after you having the skins right here in blender you need to do the second thing it's to download this add-on right here after downloading it you just need to go to where you download it right here for me and you have to extract it then go back to blender edit preferences click on add-ons right here then go to install go to where you have it downloaded for me it's right here add-ons and install the latest version which is 280 then install add-on make sure that it's enabled and click out of this so to get those animations we have to get them from the game files i have a, a link in the description below you just download it and this file right here it has every animation from fortnite the from the season 8 update so if you watch this video like a month or like a whole season later this file won't have every animation in the game at that time but for the time i'm recording this video this file have every animation so after you get downloading this file you just have to extract it right here and after i've done extracting you can see that we have all these folders right here so after that you go back to blender and now let's start by our female skin let's turn off these and like i showed you guys this skin right here is from a blender pack so this method won't work in the skin that's why i have it so that i'll show you the problem that you will face if you use a skin from a blender pack this one right here i got it from the game files let's turn off the blender pack skin and let's focus on this one before we start we need to decide which animation we want to put on the skin for the sake of this tutorial i will use the new image in fortnite season 8 where the character swing with touch katana to know where this animation exactly in the game files we will have to go to discord for me personally i don't use discord at all the only reason that i have discord installed in my pc is to do what i'm doing now after getting in discord i will have the link in the description for this shady arch discord server make sure to join this server it's really helpful go to the bot command channel so you can clearly get the name of the emote from the game just log in and get the name of the emote that you want to use and after that go to this channel right here and type exclamation mark e id e for emote and id just an id space then type the name of the emote that you want for me it's called hand for it and as you guys can see he gave me where the the actual of the animation for the male character and the female character right here we have a female character so let's remember where it's in game animation so this is the folder that i uploaded for you guys to download animation game main player emotes punk koi then the emotes right here so let's click on the bones make sure that you have clicked on the bones not on the skin itself click on the bones and after installing that add-on that we just installed before you can click on this little uh, right here then psk slash psa and click on import psa after that go to where you extracted the animation folder so this right here let's remember the patch it's animation game main player let's go game main player emotes punk boy 
Let's go to emotes and let's call down to P until we find it. P I chair. It says bank card. Now we have all these files I chair. So you was just want to click on one of them and see not this one. I this one. This one has the CMF. F is for female. If we click on this one as an example, we will have M. Um, this one for a male character, you want to use this file. For a female character, you want to use this file. You just click import PSA and let's press space. As you guys can see, now the character is moving. I need to do the image that we see in Fortnite, but only the body does that. The head stays in place. It's just easy to fix. So let's just zoom to the face and click on the bones right here. Again, import PSA and let's select the same file. Then import now the hair as well. Let's click on it. Import PSA, select the same file and import. And let's switch back and play it. As you guys can see, the animation plays smoothly. Let's turn off the textures so that you can see the character moving and everything is fine. But there's a little problem with the face. We see, let's turn off the hair. If we see her face, it's in a total mess. Let's click on the face bones right here. Let's go to the pause mode and let's select all the eyes and the mouth and every facial bones. Select them all. Go down right here with your mouse and press delete on your keyboard to delete all these keyframes. And then press Alt plus G in your keyboard, then Alt plus R. Now let's click out. Let's turn off. You guys can see now the face is good. There's nothing wrong with it. Let's turn back the hair. And as you guys can see, the animation is played smoothly with just a few clicks. Now, what I told you guys, if we do this with the character that we got it from the game files, it's fine. You guys can see that it's played smoothly and everything. But if we do it with the character from the Blender pack, let's take this one as an example. Let's click on the bones. This is a female character, so we're going to import base A and import the female file. And let's put in post page A. You guys can see what's up. We can see that it's bugged and it doesn't work. So make sure that you have a skin that you got it from the game files for this to work. Now for our male character, it's just the same. I have I share same skins. For one, it's from the game files, and the un the other one it's from a Blender pack. Let's work with the game files first. Let's click on the body bones and import PSA, let's just import the same animation, but this time, this is a male skin, so we're not going to use this file that ends with an F I share. We're going to use this one, that has an M. Let's press import PSA, and as you guys can see, it works properly. We will do the same thing with the head and the helmet. So let's just click on the head ones, import, import this file, and the helmet as well. Let's click and part. Now everything works smoothly, but let's hide the helmet so that we can see the face. It's the face bucket like before. Let's click on the face bones, go to the pause mode, select all these bones right here, delete the frames of these bones and Alt G, then Alt R. Go back. Let's turn back the helmet. Let's turn on the object search. And you guys can see it works smoothly. The same problem we have even with the male skins with uh, Blender Pack. If we use the same skin but from a Blender Pack, we select the bones, import, then import the animation file. We see that the same problem happens right here. So make sure that you guys use a uh, skin from the game files 
like I said, there will be links in the description below for tutorials on how to get skins from the game files. And if you guys face any problem and want me to make a full video on how to export skins from the game files to Blender with textures and everything, just let me know in the comments below and I will be more than happy to make it. Now there's one marching lift if we see i did this now the animation i tried doesn't make any sense it just swing with nothing on her hand i guess we need to add the katana to her hand so that the animation it looks way more cooler i will just add the child quick and get back to you guys when i'm done And here we go, as you guys can see, the katana is attached to her hand and the animation is done now I guess. I know that most of you don't know how to attach something to a hand of the character. So as you guys can see actually I didn't animate it frame by frame, I just snap it to her hand and whenever her hand move, I tell like I show you. Whenever let's go to the pause mode. Let's go out here as an example. Whenever I will move the hand, the katana, it will stay on her hand. And this, I know that most of you guys doesn't know how to make that. I will uh, make a tutorial about it soon. So subscribe right now with notice on so that you don't miss when I upload it. And yeah, that's it for importing Fortnite emotes to a character. You have to make sure that you got the character from the game files. But that's not the only thing that we can apply to our character so that it animates easily. Okay, I'll just duplicate this. Let's turn off these. And I'll select delete all the keyframes and edit it to its original pause so that we can start again. Like I said, we can import literally every animation in Fortnite, not only the emotes. I'll show one example right now. If we click on the pawns, let's go to import PSA. Let's get back to the animation folder right here. We make sure to go to game and main player. If you want to apply the animation now, you can see all these folders right here. This abducted folder, I guess it's from when there was EFO on the sky. Let's click on that. Let's apply it. And as you guys can see, this shows when the player got abducted by uh, the EFO. We can apply this right here to the body, the same thing with the head and the hair as well. And as you, as you can see, it's an off this. The abducted animation is done. Let's reverse everything and let's go find something else. Let's go to like combat as an example. And let's go to guns, assault rifles. This is I guess the load animation. Let's double click it. Let's turn back out right here and see. As you can see, the reload animation is done. Let's turn back, go look for something else. Let's go to locomotion, medium, female. Then this is like, let's click paint. This Athena blade, I guess this is the Blade that was in the game in, back in chapter 1 season 7 Yeah This is the running animation with this sword back in season 7 Let's reverse Let's go Like this is shotgun The lever shotgun Spanish animation As you can see Let's get back Let's find Something else this is the skydiving animation. Let's, this is the gliding, I guess. Let's look for a glider. Choose the normal umbrellas that everyone uses. Medium, female. And let's select this. It's as you can see, the opening glider animation. Let's do the same thing with the hair and face. Let's play it. 
And as you guys can see, the possibility are endless. You just go and here to the animation folder that we downloaded and keep getting into these folders right here and try what you like. Or if you have an idea for a specific thing, you can just go straight to it and apply it. And you will have an animation done with just a few clicks. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I know that it's a little bit complicated and I know that most of you guys are scared from getting into the game files. If you guys want me to make a full tutorial on how to get skins, emotes, guns, pickaxes, backpacks, literally anything from the game files, just let me know in the comments below and I will make sure to make it. If you guys enjoyed this video, hit that like button. If you didn't, hit that dislike button twice and let me know in the comments what I can do to improve these videos. See you guys in the next one. Peace.